Thank you for buying a Brother Sewing Machine. This DVD is designed to give you an overview of the machine operation in line with the operation manual. Please note that some descriptions may not apply to the specifications of your model. Now, let's get the machine ready for use. Connect the power cord plug equipped with the foot controller into the jack on the right side of the machine. Insert the power supply plug into the wall outlet. Turn the main power switch on. The sewing lamp will come on. Now, let's take a look at how to set the bobbin winder and the lower thread. Only use the bobbin that has been designed for this sewing machine. Use of bobbins from older models may cause injury or damage to the machine. Pull out the spool pin fully and insert the spool of thread for the lower thread onto the spool pin. Pass the thread from the front to the back around the pretension disc that is found on the upper left side of the machine. Pass the end of the thread through the hole on the bobbin from the inside of the bobbin and pull just long enough. Put the bobbin onto the bobbin winder shaft and align the groove of the bobbin with the spring on the bobbin winder shaft. Next. Slide the shaft to the right until you hear the click sound. Turn the main power switch on. While gently holding the thread from the bobbin, press the foot controller down lightly. Wind the thread around the bobbin a few times and then stop the machine. Trim the excess thread above the bobbin with a pair of scissors. Check that the thread is properly wound in the bobbin. Wind the thread again by pressing the foot controller down fully. When the bobbin is full, the bobbin starts to turn slowly. Take your foot off the foot controller to stop the machine. Cut the thread with a pair of scissors, slide the bobbin winder shaft to the left, and remove the bobbin. Now, let's set the lower thread. First, turn the main power switch off. Raise the needle by turning the hand wheel toward you and raise the presser foot lever. Remove the flatbed attachment and open the shuttle cover towards you. Fully open the bobbin case latch and remove the bobbin case from the machine. Put the bobbin into the bobbin case so that the thread is wound clockwise. Pass the thread through the slit under the tension spring. Unwind about 10 centimeters of thread from the bobbin. Open the bobbin case latch completely and fully insert the bobbin case with the bobbin case finger turning upward. Make sure that the bobbin case finger fits into the notch at the top of the shuttle race. Replace the shuttle cover and attach the flatbed attachment. Now you've completed the setting of the lower thread. Now let's take a look at how to set the upper thread. Turn the main power switch off and raise the presser foot lever. Raise the needle by turning the hand wheel towards you. 
pull up the spool pin fully and insert the spool of thread for the upper thread so that the end of the thread comes out towards you. Pull the thread from the spool of thread. Pass the thread from below toward you onto the thread guide at the top of the machine. Pull the thread down and around the upper tension control dial from the right to the left so the thread picks up the thread check spring. Holding the thread in your left hand, put the thread behind the needle bar thread guide above the needle. Lower the presser foot and thread the needle. While gently holding the end of the thread, raise the presser foot and slowly turn the hand wheel towards you once to raise the needle. Pull on the upper thread and the lower thread will come out. Pull out the thread with your fingers. Put the upper thread and the lower thread under the presser foot and pull out 15 centimeters of thread toward the back of the sewing machine. You've now completed the setting of the upper thread. Now, let's start sewing. Turn the main power switch on and select a pattern on the pattern selection dial. Raise the needle and the presser foot to set the fabric. Put the upper thread under the presser foot and pull out about five centimeters of thread. While holding the thread and the fabric with your left hand, turn the hand wheel towards you to lower the needle onto the fabric and lower the presser foot lever. When you sew the fabric, you can adjust the speed with the foot controller. To finish sewing, release your foot from the foot controller to stop the machine, and then raise the needle by turning the hand wheel towards you. Raise the presser foot, pull out the fabric, and then cut the threads with the thread cutter that is found on the back of the presser foot bar. If the fabric is too thick to get under the presser foot, use the presser foot lever to raise the presser foot up a notch. Now, let's try reverse sewing. To sew the fabric in reverse, lower the needle into the start point of stitching and lower the presser foot. Start the machine slowly, sew the fabric a little, and push the reverse sewing lever in and hold it while sewing. When you return to the start point of the stitching, release the reverse sewing lever to sew forward. To finish sewing, you can sew the fabric in reverse while pushing in the reverse sewing lever. Now, let's check the tension of the thread. The tension of the thread depends on the type of fabric or thread. Try sewing with a piece of the fabric you are going to use and adjust the tension of the thread.
Let's use the zigzag stitch. Turn the pattern selection dial to the zigzag stitch. Raise the presser foot and set the fabric to start sewing. Now let's try buttonhole sewing. First, use tailor's chuck to mark the position and length of the buttonhole on the fabric. To darn the buttonhole, change the foot to the buttonhole foot A. Raise the needle by turning the hand wheel towards you and remove the power supply plug from the jack of the machine. Raise the presser foot level, press the button of the presser foot holder to remove the presser foot. Attach the buttonhole foot and push the frame back until it stops with the plastic insert at the front of the frame. Connect the power supply plug into the jack of the machine and turn the main power switch on. Set the pattern selection dial to 1A. Pass the upper thread into the hole of the presser foot. Align the red mark on the presser foot with the front side of the marking on the fabric and lower the presser foot lever. While lightly holding the upper thread with your left hand, turn the hand wheel towards you to lower the needle into the fabric. Press the foot controller down lightly and sew five to six stitches. Stop the machine and bring the needle to the left by turning the hand wheel towards you. Set the pattern selection dial to 1B and sew up to the marking. Stop the machine and bring the needle to the left. Set the pattern selection dial to 1C and sew 5 to 6 stitches. Stop the machine and bring the needle to the right. Set the pattern selection dial to 1D and start the machine again to sew up to the marking. Stop the machine and bring the needle to the right. To prevent the thread from loosening, pull the upper thread to the back side of the fabric and tie it with the lower thread. <laughs> 